Let me be very clear. It's like trying to remove an egg from an omelette, like trading in a three-course meal for a packet of crisps or for a fruit crumble, or in fact for an infinitely large cake. It's like graduating from college with unrealistic expectations, like buying a second home or agreeing to swap that second home for another house you've never seen, or claiming you've made progress on building that second home when you've only just managed to make yourself a cup of tea. It's like the Hunger Games, like Mad Max, like Reservoir Dogs, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like Love Actually. It's like the Blitz, like a military coup, like a punishment beating, like the Treaty of Versailles. It's like Schrödinger's cat, like a wolf without a collar, like a dog that caught the car, and yet. It's not like a divorce, and not like a walk in the park, although possibly like a walk in the mountains or the moon landing. Maybe it's like a chocolate orange, or like the Hotel California, like Roger Federer passed his prime, or like Harry leaving One Direction. But definitely not like a golf club, not like refusing to pay for your round in the bar of that golf club, not eating a la carte in the restaurant of that golf club, not. Like playing a game of golf at that golf club, really, it's like a frantic bus journey where the passengers are fighting over its speed and direction of travel, where the passengers are required to suck and blow at the same time, where the passengers arrive at a nightclub only to then leave that nightclub and end up in a fight in a kebab shop. It's like. Jumping off the Titanic, or out of a burning aeroplane without a parachute, or out of a burning aeroplane with a parachute, or out of one burning aeroplane and into another burning aeroplane, it's like a war, like a new kind of freedom, like a jail with the door left open.